it's just so exciting because the level in the gym is so high right now. Like it's so competitive, whether it's the A side or the B side. I mean, it's back and forth pretty much every single day. Games are really tight. So I think it's just really exciting that we're continuing to get better and not being complacent. Each person has the things that they need to work on. And you can see all of us really trying to find those little ways that we can continue to get better. And ultimately that's gonna make us be a better team. But I would just say how competitive it is. How competitive has it been? Outside hitters won a number of girls competing for two spots. How competitive have you viewed the outside hitter position as well? I think Taylor and Skyler were good additions. And obviously, like Taylor has a really good past at Minnesota. So I think it was really good to have her come in the gym just because she brings up the level of competition and play in general. So I think it's really good for us and it pushes all of us individually too. Have you, have you felt that you need to elevate your game? Definitely, but I think we're all doing a good job of doing that. Merritt, coach was saying he ripped you guys pretty good the other day. I mean, is that the worst you've seen him? And how do you guys respond to that? Mm, was he talking about Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, like, it wasn't just, like, him ripping us. He was just kind of tough on us all practice, which I think is normally, normally not his coaching style nowadays. So I would say, like, over a consistent period of time, yeah, but also – in that moment, we kind of needed it. So it was good. And I mean, he has to continue pushing us because we are such a high level team that he's got to find ways for us to continue getting better. So, I mean, I think for us, it was a good thing. And sometimes we do need to be kicked in the butt a little bit. So it's good every now and then. <laughs> How was the response today from that? Yeah, I think, I mean, what this team does really, really well uh, is we understand like we have a saying the game has no memory and so Saturday's done we all came in yesterday and we watched film we figured out what we needed to fix what we needed to do better and then today's a new day and I think this team does a really good job of that of just kind of letting go of yesterday's practice or maybe today we need to let go of today's whatever it is this team does a really good job of having a new mindset and a fresh start each day that we come in so I thought today was really good I thought we all came in and we were continuing to work on the things that we need to work on. Harper, how have your teammates supported you through this off season, and how has that made you feel? I think um, one thing that our team focuses on a lot is just understanding each other. And so in certain moments, maybe Harper needs a little bit more. In certain moments, maybe Harper needs to be alone. Just things like that. Each of us are all different and we're all unique in our own ways. And so for us this entire summer, it's just been about continuing to build those relationships, not just Harper, but all of us continuing to figure out what each person needs in each moment. And so I think obviously we've done a really good job of helping Harper through all the stuff that she's had to deal with, but also like that's just the culture of Nebraska volleyball. And so it's not just been her. We just continue to build those relationships and and ultimately grow the deeper understanding of each other so that those relationships come out on the court. But I would say overall just focusing on relationships and hopefully Harper's felt that as well. Period. Harper, what was your main focus on the court during this offseason and how to improve and take another step as a sophomore? I think with having a year under my belt, I think it brings a lot of different viewpoints for me just from playing the past year. So. I think just working on like the little things and staying disciplined just because that's something coach is always on us for. Um, but yeah, other than that, like off the court, just building relationships like Merritt said. What are those little things? Like, what are you focusing on those little things? I mean, I think something our team does well is like go out to coffee with one another. That's like <laughs> kind of little, but also like we just got a new facility at the stadium. So we all go to training table and we eat lunch together. So it's just the little things like that that we put the effort in off the court. Communication. I would say that's the biggest one, just building trust. Mary, Coach talked about the role of Jordan Larson just being back, mm -hmm. kind of she being a captain for the captains. So yeah. How has that relationship been, and how valuable is she to you and Lexi? No, it's huge. I think, I mean, it's Jordan, it's Wish, it's Kelly. All of them provide such a unique insight for us because they ultimately have been in our shoes. And so for us, it's huge just having the chance and the opportunity to go to people who have once been in our shoes and have honestly played under coach. Like sure, a lot of times you have assistant coaches who have played in college, but not under the same coach that you're playing under. And so for us, it's obviously they're huge mentors. I think 
The special thing about Jordan, though, is she kind of calms Coach down. So for all of us, it was like, okay, Jordan's back. Like, we're good. And everything's just a little bit more smooth and a little bit more calm when Jordan's there. And so I think that's a huge thing for us as well is just continuing to learn from her. And also, like, Lexi and I learn in that way also. Like, what does she do to kind of help calm Coach down when we need to? Just little things like that that we're able to learn because she was in our position and she has played at the highest level. And so she's pretty much seen it all at this point. So for us, it's just a great mentorship and we just continue to learn from her each and every day. What does it say about her that she, you know, was just in the Olympics, had her car accident, got back and was like immediately in the gym coaching? I mean, that's just who she is. Like, you know, you can't even, you could go on about Jordan for days and days and days, but I mean, she just shows up every single day. Someone asked her today at training table how she was doing and she was like, I'm running a little empty, but she showed up today and she gave us her all she gave us energy she gave us feedback she gave us positivity and there's never a day that we come in and we're like hmm where's Jordan like her presence is never missing no matter how much she's struggling or how much she has on her plate and I think that just speaks to her character because she holds herself to such a high standard and she holds herself with such grace so I mean you could ask me about her for hours and we could sit here all day <laughs> coach, said it, coach said it wasn't even a discussion to renew you and Lexi as the two captains. What did that mean to have the support of the team and how are you looking to continue in that leadership role? Yeah, I mean, leadership is the same thing as like skills on the court, whether it's relationships or not. Like we're continuing to try and evolve and try and be better for this team. So, I mean, like I said last year when it was decided, it's just a huge honor. And I think for us, it's just finding ways to continue being better for this team. And it is, it is a new team. So the things that worked last year aren't going to work this year. We added new people. And so we're kind of figuring out how, again, how these 14 puzzle pieces are all going to fit together. So, I mean, for us, it's just continuing to evolve and figure out how we're going to be better leaders day in and day out. What does it, what does it mean for you to have Jordan out there? Um, I mean, I know she was a part of the reason that you came to school here. So mm -hmm. for, for her to be back, um, what, what kind of an impact does that have? I mean, like Merit said, it kind of calms Coach down a little bit, so it's kind of refreshing to have her back. But, I mean, we have one of the best players in the world as our coach, so I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory. But like Merit said, like her presence is always there, and she's always very talkative with us and gives us a lot of good feedback. So she's just a like good person in and out, whether it's on the volleyball court or not. So I think it means a lot for us to have her here and know that she's going to give us her all every day. I think she's taught me a lot um, when it comes to bouncing back after mistakes and like obviously volleyball skills, yeah, but I think just like the mental side of it because she's, she's seen so much and played for so long that she understands like way more than anyone ever thinks. So um, I think she's just helped with like the mental side of things like how to bounce back and how to make things like the tiniest bit better. Final questions. Merit, second in the preseason poll, did you know that and did you take any stock in that and what's it going to take to move up to that range? I mean, we saw it like on social media, but I think for us at the end of the day, like just because we're ranked number two right now and just because we were in the national championship last year doesn't mean anything. So for us, I mean, sure, it's great, but it doesn't mean anything. And our season starts on Tuesday and we're taking it one day at a time, just like we did last year, because at the end of the day, like, sure, those rankings are great, but they don't mean anything. They don't promise you anything. So for us, it's just bringing our best day in and day out. And hopefully we are back in the situation that we were in last year and we have a different outcome. But it's just she says, he says. So we got to prove it at the end of the day. Hey, so Harper, Harper, you have fan day coming up on Saturday. Mm -hmm. How much has Husker Nation meant to you? And really bonding with the younger fans who, who come and watch you. How much have you really relished that the last year here? I mean, I don't really think I personally understood how much Nebraska's fans were involved in the sports. And I think once I played my first game here, I realized that. And then over the past year, like, obviously, the support's just, like, flooding every single game. Um, and over, over the summer, like, I worked a bunch of volleyball camps, and I had a lot of fun meeting all the little fans. So I hope to see some of them at Fan Day. I don't know if a lot of them will be there. But, I mean, the support from our fans is tremendous, and they've always been that way. Personally, I don't really care about the rankings. I don't think they matter. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I guess we can use it as some motivation, but I think at the end of the day, we know what we can give to the game. So I think that's what's just going to push us at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Very fast. <laughs> 
Um, so, I mean, like I said, we're just taking it one day at a time. There's still things that we need to pr improve on and still things that we need to get better at. So we're trying to focus on that and just kind of soak up the last little bit of preseason that we have to prepare for that. But I think we're also really mm -hmm. excited to play someone other than ourselves and kind of because it is hard when you have such a competitive gym. We're kind of like, hmm, like, how do we look? How mm -hmm. how are we going to look against someone else just because we get so used to playing each other? So I think we're all really excited to play someone other than ourselves. What uh, you two both had a chance to watch the 60 doc. What are your thoughts, your impressions from watching it? And what do you, I mean, your story's going to be told on a national platform. What do you think about that? I got it. Okay. Well, you can go after Okay. I mean, I think it's a really cool opportunity for our team just to show our culture and show what we put in the gym day in and day out. Um, and obviously, Jen and Maddie put a lot of work into that, and it took a while to put together. But I think at the end of the day, it really goes in depth about us as people and our culture and our coaches and really shines like on our coaches on how much they work on our culture and how much they try to improve us as people. And the history of Nebraska volleyball is obviously amazing. And most people in Nebraska know that, but not as many people around the country do. So I think it'll be a good opportunity for people to really learn about our history and our culture.